Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on and make a quick video to show you how you can take pages from a PDF and still be able to use them digitally. I've heard from a lot of teachers that they're worried they can no longer use these because they're in Google Classroom now and maybe your file isn't compatible with Google Classroom. So I just want to show you um, a couple quick tips. So the first thing you can try to do is go to File, Export, Image, and JPEG. And just try to save that somewhere where you'll be able to find it. And you might run into this. This means you don't have permission to extract images from the file. That's okay, we have a workaround. This is just a security setting that a lot of files have on them to protect clip art and things like that. So if you run into that issue, you can use another tool. And if you're on Windows, you have this. I'm not sure what it's called on Mac, if you have a Mac, but anyway, it's called Snipping Tool. And if you can't find this on your computer, you can just go down to like the start bar and type Snipping Tool and it should pop right up. <clears throat> Anyway, so what you want to do is open up the file you want and take this snipping tool and you're going to do this. You're going to snip and you can see it turns it into an image, which is what you need for Google Slides. So then you can save it, file save as, and I'll just type um, line plot worksheet. So I'll be able to find it and it'll make it a PNG, but you can also make it a JPEG, which uses less space. PNGs are bigger files. So then you can come over here to Google Slides. And the first thing you want to do is make sure your slide is the same size as your image. So this is a portrait page. So I'm going to make my slide eight and a half by 11. Let me just delete these extra boxes. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to set that image as our background. So we're gonna choose an image and we're gonna browse and we're gonna go find that image and I named it, where is it? Line plot worksheet right here. I got so much stuff on my desktop. I need to organize that. Anyway, so there it is. Now it's a background. The students can't move it. It's just set as the background of the slide. So now, how do you make this editable for your students? Well, all you need to do is add text boxes where you want your students to type. So we'll do that every place there's a line. And one thing you can do is you can give your boxes a little color so your students can see every place to type. It just makes it stand out a little more and helps them. And then you can just copy and paste. Oops. And there you have it. You have an editable document. This would now be saved in your drive so you can share it to your students through Google Classroom. All right, hope this helped.